Tonight with the sentencing of Justin McGriff, the man convicted of killing a Harp bus driver three years ago. He's headed back to prison to live out the rest of his life, but not before a judge issued strong words to the court saying, quote, the mental health system failed us. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez joins us live from the Hillsborough Courthouse to explain what happened. Gloria. Hi, Linda. A lot happened today. Like you said, McGriff was sentenced to life in prison. While he did not speak out in court, the judge had plenty to say, and so did the victim's family. Did you have anything that you want to say before the court imposes sentence? No, no. At his sentencing Wednesday, convicted killer Justin McGriff will take his last breath in prison. I'm going to impose the mandatory life sentence for murder in the first degree. This is the horror McGriff would unleash during a routine bus ride three years ago. These images show McGriff walk up to Hart bus driver Thomas Dunn, chat with him briefly, and then fatally stab him for no reason. McGriff then calmly walks off the bus as passengers scramble to escape. People started to panic from him, just his actions. You know, from him stabbing, he kicked the front door, trying to get it open, as well as the people who were panicking was trying to get out the back. At first, McGriff went off to a state hospital after he was found unfit for trial, but later returned. A jury recently convicted him. I miss him every day. At the hearing, Thomas Dunn's brother, Michael Dunn, just as heartbroken as the day it happened. Knowing that his kids had to work without him. Probably the harsh part. And Dunn's co workers spoke through their tears about being moving targets. It don't happen to me. It don't happen to me, Orlando. Every day we sit in that seat. You know, you go in, you do your job, you do the best that you can, and anything can happen to you. Then came the profound words from Tampa Judge Christopher Sabella that resonated with everyone. The common thread in all of these cases is a clear mental health issue an underlying mental health issue that was there before some innocent person had to lose their life. The innocent person today is Thomas Dunn, and it is sad. And in the meantime, Michael Dunn also wanting to thank the state attorney's office as well as the Tampa Police Department for all of their hard work in this case. Also, his brother's co-workers who have been supporting the family every step of the way. But just a tragedy all the way around, Linda. You could just feel all the emotion from so many of those people. Thanks. Gloria. A lot of it today. Amen.